welcome back. Today I'm going to continue talking about my top 100 favourite films of all time. I'm going to talk a little bit about The Last Emperor, directed by Bernardo Bertolucci. It was released in 1987 and it stars John Lone, Peter O'Toole and John Chen. The running time is 163 minutes long. That's 2 hours and 43 minutes. It's a very complex and complicated film. I'm going to talk a little bit about the story, but I'm not going to go into too much detail. I want to keep the video quite short and I don't want to spoil the film for people who haven't seen it. It's basically about a young boy named Pu Yi who becomes the Emperor of China, the last Emperor of China in 1908, aged three years old. He rules for three years up until 1911 when there is a revolution in China and China becomes a republic. Pu Yi is forced to abdicate in 1912, aged six years old. He is allowed to stay inside the Forbidden City and he is allowed to keep his title. However, he is now Emperor in name only and he has no power outside of the Forbidden City. That's the very, very basic story of the film. It is a very complex film. Pu Yi led an incredibly fascinating life. It takes place over the course of 60 years. The film starts in 1908 and it ends in 1967. So that is around 60 years. The film focuses mainly on Pu Yi's life from a young child right through to old age. It's a absolutely fascinating film. This was the first film to be allowed permission to film inside the Forbidden City. It's shot entirely on location in Beijing and inside the Forbidden City. It's a beautiful, beautiful film to look at, as you would expect. The cinematography was done by Vittorio Storaro. He was a very famous cinematographer. I believe he won the Academy Award for this film. This film won nine Academy Awards in 1988, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Adapted Screenplay. It also won the Best Score, I believe. The score for this film is beautiful. It was composed by Ryuichi Sakamoto. He is a very famous composer. I love everything about this film. The cinematography is breathtaking as you would expect. The direction is brilliant and the performances are first rate as you would expect. John Lone who plays the adult Puyi is brilliant. He's not a very likeable guy but John Lone plays him brilliantly. Peter O'Toole plays Mr. Johnston, Pu Yi's English tutor. He's actually Scottish. He is brilliant, as you would expect. He treats Pu Yi like a normal human being and he teaches him many, many things over the course of the film. He 
appears mainly in the first half of the film but when he does appear he is brilliant their relationship is beautiful and it is heartwarming and very touching at times John Chen who plays Pu Yi's wife is also very very good this was one of her first film roles I believe she has also appeared in Twin Peaks one of my favorite TV shows of all time I love everything about this film as I say it's very very interesting Pu Yi led an incredibly fascinating life it's really really interesting to watch right from the start it's more or less perfect for me it is a very long film not everybody will like this film I do believe that you need to have a little bit of interest in history to fully appreciate this film especially an interest in Asian culture you don't need to have an interest in Asian culture to enjoy the film but I believe you will get a greater appreciation if you know a little bit about Chinese history it is also dialogue heavy as well especially for the second half of the film there isn't really any big action set pieces the first hour to an hour and a half takes place mainly inside the Forbidden City and the second half takes place outside the Forbidden City it is incredibly interesting to watch at all times for me it is a very long film this film also has a extended cut of the film which is an hour longer than the original cut the extended cut is three hours and 40 minutes long very very long if you've never seen this film I recommend the original cut to start with and if you enjoy it then I highly recommend watching the extended cut it is a true masterpiece it was well deserving of the nine Academy Award wins that it got the performances especially by the main cast is flawless more or less the music is beautiful the cinematography is amazing it's fascinating to watch the real Puyi was even more fascinating than he was portrayed in the film if you like the film I recommend watching some documentaries on the real Puyi he was even more fascinating in real life it is a fascinating film a wonderful wonderful experience a must must watch okay that's it i'll be back soon with another favorite film of mine take care bye bye